Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing good today. I'm going to talk to you about a missing 17 year old named Madison Riff. This is um, two photos of her right here on the screen. She is out of Oklahoma City. The article says the Oklahoma City Police Department is asking for the public's help in finding a missing 17 year old girl. Police say Madison Riff has been missing from her southwest Oklahoma City home. Investigators do not believe foul play was involved, but police said they want to locate her and make sure she is okay. Authorities told KOCO5, I don't know if that's how you would say it, that Riff ran away from home and has been missing for almost two months. Anyone with information about Madison's location is asked to call 911. And then this is... Um, from Oklahoma City Police Department. These are photos of 16 year old Madison Riff who is missing from her home in Southwest Oklahoma City. Although investigators do not believe she has met, she has been met with foul play. We still wanna locate her and make sure she is okay. If you have information regarding her whereabouts, call 911. And then the number is um, probably her case number, 22-60460. These are her photos again. And I'm gonna show you a video. Um, I think I have two videos and then I wanna show you social media. So I'm gonna show you a message from her brother that he put up, but then I'm gonna show you messages from an account that is claimed to be Madison. So let me play this for you. Right now, Oklahoma City Police asking for help tracking down a missing 16-year-old. Take a look. Officers say Madison Riff went missing from her home in southwest Oklahoma City. They do not believe there is any foul play involved, but they want to find her and make sure she's okay. If you have any information on where Madison is, please call 911. Okay, so that was a quick one. And then this one is a little bit more detailed. And it might talk about the brother's message, possibly in it. I forget if it does or not. But here you go, take a listen. Well, this report tells us that 17-year-old Madison Reif left on August 22nd with her boyfriend. Since then, the boyfriend has come back home and Madison is nowhere to be found. She ran away with her boyfriend but he came home. He's not reported as a runaway anymore, and she still is. A concerned family begging to bring a teenager home after running away with her boyfriend. This police report says this is not the first time Madison has left with him and that police know of three occasions. The first, the couple were found the next day. The second time, Madison was missing five days. But this time, she's been gone almost two months. And the boyfriend took to social media last week to say he doesn't know where she is. So at this point, we knew that she was with him and we knew that, you know, they were doing whatever they were doing. But now he posts that she's missing and that he's looking for her and they had an argument and now he can't get a hold of her. Madison's brother posted this on Facebook to help find his sister. It's since gone viral and accounts claiming to be Madison are commenting, but the family says they don't think it's her. We don't believe it's her. I mean, just the way it's talking, it's like she's a whole different person. And that was, you know, that's our huge concern is that it's not her and that she is actually missing. But police say they don't think she's in danger. I know that right now in the investigation, there is no no room to believe that uh, she is an imminent threat or danger or um, that there's foul play. The family told KOCO she hasn't been at school, doesn't have her cell phone, and hasn't been in direct contact with the family other than through those messages. But today they say they had hope when they saw a quick video of her face from a friend. I mean, it was a glimpse of her face and that was it. I think we just want her home safe. We want her to get her education. I mean, she just turned 17. I mean, she might think this is the life that is life, but I mean, there's more to it than just this. And, you know, she has a loving family that just wants her home, wants her safe and we care about her. And that's why we're willing to go to the ends of the earth. 
And the family says they have received a few tips of where Madison may be, but this is an Oklahoma City police investigation. So if you have any information, be sure to call Oklahoma City Police. Okay, I'll take you over to, um, I already have it under one, so I'm just going to show you that one. This one that we're on. It says it's under Kyler, um, which, yes, it's under Kyle, right? This um, here, I believe, is her brother, but this is who is messaging back and forth. Um, it seems as though this could be the boyfriend, right? Uh, but it's got a picture of her. Either way, it says, um, hope you're happy. And, and you know what? Um, Maybe a trigger warning. It's not the best language. Best language. It's really not the nicest. Um, it's not nice. It's not very nice what gets said here. So just a heads up. Um, I hope you're happy, and I hope that you fucking crash your truck and all of your kids die. This ain't the end of me. Y'all are fucked because I know where y'all live. And then replied back was. Y'all run more than Forrest Gump. And then it came back with, get out of my DMs, fuck face ass N. And then they responded back, that's scary. And over on the side here, um, that was sharing it. I don't know. Uh, this looks like it's the rest of it. Um, it goes on to say, says the dumbasses that was chasing a bike and not sure if it was us. By the way, it was, laugh my ass off, fucking dumbass, and you a piece of shit ass wannabe soldier. You don't scare anyone. I would beat your ass myself, buddy. All right, so anyway, it says over here, not that I need to validate our concerns, but no, it's not the first time she's run away. However, it is the first time he's came home and she's not. And while y'all sit here and criticize, you don't understand what we've been through with the situation over the last two years. Um, and then it's um, right here, it says that it's Madison, right? And Madison replies back to this person that said, um, for the fake profile that he probably created, that's disturbing. I'm sorry you guys are going through this. I think it's crazy. They won't look more into it. And Madison replied back, Brooke, he didn't create a fake profile. This is me, LOL. I've texted everyone on this account. I even called Kyle last night for an hour and a half. And then it goes on to say, <clears throat> um, and you know, uh, I don't know if, again, don't quote me that Kyle is definitely the brother. It could also be the dad or stepdad, right? Um, I, I don't quote me. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, and then somebody named Lindsay said, Madison, where's your phone? Why can't you call your family from your phone? People are looking for you all over the state and sharing posts. If it's really you, you'll drop this little boy that has nothing going for him in life and get back to your family. If this is really you, you could do a face-to-face -face call and not hide. If this is you, you could pick up your phone and call and have a conversation. Running away does not solve any of your problems. I hope you're safe. Madison said, or the account under Madison said, Lindsay, I am safe and I've talked to my family. Mom took my phone. And Sammy um, is part of the family, right? Um, could be her mom, but it's part of the family, said, Madison, you left your phone. And Madison said, Sammy, yeah, I left it, but I didn't have it. And then she goes on to say, Lindsay, y'all don't know none about him besides what we've done. So that's one of the conversations that gets had in this. Um, let me exit out of this. And show you um here's conversation from her there's conversation um this is under a post i'll show you 
here i'll go up and show you the post just so you know what we're what she's talking under so kyle posted up <clears throat> attention my little sister has been missing for more than a month now she is five feet a little over 100 pounds blondish hair with brown eyes age 17. she ran away with her quote boyfriend in southwest oklahoma city and he has came home but she's still missing he states they were staying in a park in the Yukon area, but she could be at a friend's house. His family and him have been more than reluctant to help at all. If anything, they've assisted in her disappearance. If anyone has seen her or knows anything to help, would be greatly appreciated. She's reported as a runaway. And her photo. And then under the comment section is where I just read that one thread from right and there's this other one from her as well she put my name is madison and i am still alive all of my family members have heard from me and then someone named tatum said madison with an empty profile and then she said this is madison i even have proof i've texted my dad i texted my sister and my mom but i deleted it and then she said, I already said him and I got into an argument on my birthday. We went different ways. We were close to my friend's house. So I just went there. Then he went home, I guess. And Danielle wrote back and said, Madison, can you call and at least talk to your brother and sister? They miss you. And Mabry cries almost every day no questions asked just a phone call so they could say hi i have them all day today please tatum said madison i don't know you or your life but i don't think that anyone is going to believe you are okay unless you they see you physically i hope this is you and you are okay maybe post a video with a timestamp saying you're okay also it's hard out there for people so young trust me i know go home if you can and Madison said, and obviously no one has told the cops they've been talking to me and I've made the move to at least text them. And then um, someone named Kayla said, Madison, when messages are sent from a brand new profile with no photos and such with no other contact, it's weird. Wish you would go home. And Madison said, Kayla, I talked to your friend. She said she'll text mom saying that she seen my face and I'm okay. And Sammy said, why can't you just show us, talk to us? It's everybody else. And she said, Sammy, I could call you on here. Um, I don't know what that part says. Saying I'm alive, That that's it. And then Sammy said, call me if you know my number. And she said, Sammy, I don't know your number, but I'll call you off messenger. And then Sammy said, call me. And this is three days ago, right? Um, and then a person named Tawny said, pretending to be a missing person to get attention is disgusting. This is a catfish account. Y'all do not keep engaging. And Madison said, Tawny can't be a catfish account if I called them a messenger and they heard my voice. And she, somebody asked, did you FaceTime? And she said, no, they heard my voice, so. And that was 19 hours ago. <clears throat> and then they said, FaceTime your brother and your mother then. And um, so they could stop sharing and worrying so much about you, if it's really you. And so three days ago, Madison had said, I still kept contact with my family. At least I might have taken a while, but I did. Yeah, a while, like two months. Um, and then she said, I posted a picture of me I just took and saying I was okay. Somebody said, how do we know it's really you? Call home. She said, because I talked to somebody on the phone. Everyone knows that if you read the comments. And Kyle said, Madison, the one second forehead video. And Madison said, Kyle, she said, she's seen my face and that's all she needed, she said. And Kyle then told Madison to call him. And Charlene said, Madison, this is your grandma. You need to call your mom. At least let her know that you're okay. We love you and we miss you, Gram grandma, grandpa. 
Um, and then someone else named Michelle said, Madison, girl, this is not a, enough. Go home. Stop the bullshit. If you're okay, go freaking home. It's all fun and games till you get hurt. I stand with that person on that statement. Yes, I do. Um, oops. Um, no, no one is talking on here, she said. Sammy said, Madison, what is there to say? You sit behind a new profile that has no pictures, no nothing, and expect us to just say, oh, that's her. How do we even know that this is your first photo you out after somebody said you don't even have photos? And she had said, if I look on my account, I don't got no photos. I don't have Facebook just to post i have it so i can see what people post i've had it forever i don't be posted on it and then she replied back to this other person and said i've posted pictures of me you could probably see when my account was made i can put my phone number out there on my old phone that i don't have i can name people in my family i can name everything about me and the danielle wrote back and said madison are we sure this isn't k the boyfriend pretending to be you Please call and talk to your brother and sister. Um, that that other person, May Mabry. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Carries your picture around. They are hurting. You are loved by many. Message me, please. And she said, do y'all want me to name people in my family? Name my dog's name? Anything? And then Madison said, Mary, I talked to her on the phone just now. She said she'll tell my mom I'm okay. And then three days ago, Mary said, I saw your face for a split second, so I know you're alive. I'm worried that you are not okay. And she said, I posted one with the date and time. And then this is the stuff I already showed you right here. And these were the comments. So just a little bit of it, right? Um, I'm sure that there is more uh, that she updated her profile picture um like three days ago she did she updated it to um and she said uh that way all of her family members know that it was her she said is why she updated the profile picture um and then she said it's me madison i talked to all my family on this account how my brother even heard my voice for an hour and a half okay so this is her brother so anyway, that's a little bit of that, right? So I just wanted to give you guys um, a heads up and let you know, right, that she is considered missing. Now, I don't think it's as concerning as everybody had thought with, and when I say that, I don't mean it's not concerning, right? So let me stop there and say that. I don't think that it's not concerning. I think it's not as concerning as what I initially was led to believe when I first heard the reports that she had been gone for two months and the boyfriend returned home without her and won't say anything about her whereabouts, says he doesn't know where she is. Sounded very Gabby Petito to me. Um, I was really concerned, like really like, oh my gosh, something's happened. This is real bad. But so I don't think it's that bad. Okay. However, She's still not home. She's underage. She needs to be at home. From there, where her family decides they need what they've got to do with her, um, that's their decision as family, right? That's not really for us to judge. Uh, I do think that she's got that rebellion. I, I hear the teenage rebellion within her. It's very dangerous. Because these teenagers think that they are adults and think that they know what they're doing. And uh, no one's the boss of me. I'm the boss of me. I can do what I want. Right? We know that the world is really, really dangerous. Especially for a beautiful young lady. She's not a woman yet. Right? We know that it's very, very dangerous for, for somebody like her. And so I do think it's still concerning i would like her to make it home i would like the police to track her down and take it a little more seriously in the in the way of 
still trying to find her and get her back to her home. And then from there, what the family does to safeguard that she remains home, that she doesn't do another runaway again and is un unknown location. Um, we don't know if she's in the way of danger. We have no idea where she is at. Especially if her and the boyfriend had an argument, right? They had problems and now she's doing things by, by herself for herself. So either way, it is still concerning. Um, and so I still wanted to bring it to you guys and let you guys know about it. But if I hear any updates on it, I'll let you know. I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you very, very much. I hope that you all have an awesome day. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Take care.